Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharon Peter and you guys can call me Sha. Thank you so much for coming back. I always appreciate it, like it, from the bottom of my heart. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos while I'm gone. <laughs> I just wanted to create a look that is not basic. I know that all the time in my videos, I'm always doing something simple, something natural, but I wanted to go out of my comfort zone a bit. I do love um, playing with makeup, but sometimes I will I will hold a bit and I'm like, oh, maybe my my subjects want to see something that is natural, but tell me what you think. If you love looks like this, that are bold, that are out there, just let me know and comment below. I'll do more of it. I actually enjoy this more than like your pink eyeshadow and your pink nude lipsticks. Uh, it's kind of like boring for me. Um, this is a 12 inch wig. I don't know if you guys can. Okay, ooh, that's how it looks. I'm just gonna come close for you guys so that you can see. Um, I'm gonna close my eyes. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys enjoy looks like this, please tell me. So I realized that I was talking too much and I decided to just cut the video <laughs> so that you guys can enjoy watching the video than me talking. And yeah, here I'm just gonna use the Estee Lauder foundation, it's a double wear, it's very nice. And my shade is Mocha. So for my concealer, I'll be using the MAC concealer in NW40, if I'm not mistaken. I will list the, all the products that I use in the description box. Please, please check. Um, I think I listed every product that I used in this video. Just check it below. And yeah, I'm going to highlight my under eyes and my forehead because it's very big. I'm just going to try and highlight just a little bit. And I'm going to use the same sponge to blend. And this is the Real Technique sponge. You can find it at this cam and add um, clicks and honestly this sponge does make a difference those cheap sponges mm -mm, this one makes a difference for me of course Um, this powder that I'm going to use now, it's not new to my channel. I've been using it and I'm actually shocked at how it works. It works for almost every foundation. I'm just going to use it to set my concealer everywhere. And it also doesn't make me look white, no matter how long I put it for. But sometimes I realize that if you use a way too light um, concealer on your for highlighting, it can turn a bit white. But eventually, if you use a fix plus and everything, it blends in together very well. So this is the eyeshadow I'm using. It's the Morphe um, partnership with Jaclyn Hill. I only have this. I don't have all the other ones. It's the Vault. I chose an orange color just to make it a transition. And I want to try and explain what I'm doing in this video. Um, I'm actually creating um, a base for the cut crease that I'm going to do. And what you see now is I'm blending above and on the socket where my socket um, starts on my eye and I'm concentrating it on the far end. I was actually laughing because I was watching something. <laughs> Don't mind me. So I'm going to go with the darker color. It's the brown color at the corner. What I'm going to do now is I am going to blend on that socket. That's my crease line. That's where my eyeball ends and you can see my eyeball is very big. Everybody knows this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate it there a lot because that's where I'm going to cut my crease. That's where I'm going to put my concealer to make this eyeball like shiny. As you can see, I am trying to deepen it and make sure that I contour it a bit and make it look like my eye is not that big, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. But I think I will do a one, a makeup 101, um, eyeshadow 101. I think it might help a lot since people have different eyes. So the more I explain, I think this is going to help. And this is my favorite brown eyeshadow. It's the Embark by MAC. And it's very, very brown. Trust me, you don't want to take a lot of products when it comes to this. And I'm going to go just below that brown shadow that I used and concentrating it on the outer corner of my eye.
and I'm so sorry I didn't show this concealer that I'm using. This is the Makeup Revolution in C12. Um, it's a bit too white for highlighting for me. I've tried it before and I realized that it was too light. So I'm going to use it to cut the crease. Um, sometimes it helps if your eyeball has a big shape like mine to open your eye fully so you can see where you stop. But if you cannot see that, just um, lift up your brows. You will see where your socket ends. And if you don't see properly, keep opening your eye. Then you, you see when I open my eye, the concealer went and touched somewhere. That's where I'm going to stop. Or I can just go above it just a little bit if I want it um, to be exaggerated. But I'm going to stop here for just the sake of simplicity. So for some people, after they cut um, the, the crease, they do put setting powder but for this video i decided not to i don't know why but i loved how this turned out so you can see so sometimes you can set it so that it, it doesn't feel messy and messes up your other side of the eye if your eye is very small but for my eye my eye is so big that um, i'm not even gonna try and open it i just want it to dry a bit just a bit and then the, the eyeshadow will stick better So here I tried to stop so I can show you what happens when you put um, the concealer below your eyeball or your eye socket where the socket is. It becomes like it's closing if you have um, extra flesh on the eye just like me. So I'm just going to go above it so that it looks like the other eye. So using that same embark color um, on the um, and the brown color on the palette, I'm mixing the two colors and just making like a nice outer V shape so that my eye can be snatched. <laughs> you will see it's gonna look like a V also on the other eye. I just want it to be a bit defined. So I honestly didn't know what I wanted on the eyeball, but I thought, okay, let me simplify this video and use one palette. And I decided to take that goldish, it looks gold on the palette, but when I applied it, um, it looked like yellow, a nice sunset yellow, and I loved it so much. So the colors were blending in together. I was avoiding pinks and all that, so I went for a yellow and I loved the results. It's very, very pigmented. I'll try to move close. Remember, I didn't set this um, concealer with anything, so when I put the product, it completely holds it. blend in the embark color on the outer V, I took another goldish brown um, color on the palette as well. It's a shimmer color. I just put it below um, the yellow so that it blends well with the brown. I saw the transition of yellow to gold was just too harsh for me. So I was still deciding whether to put lashes on because I do have um, individual lashes, but they... <laughs> They are almost falling off, all of them, especially my right side. I heard that the side you sleep on is going to shed the most and it is shedding the most. I think I feel like I don't have lashes anymore. But I decided to put extra lashes because I wanted to be extra for this video. And I'm just going to use my Inglot 
gel liner i use this on most every video it's number 77 it's the best black gel pot i've ever used and i love it so i have never really put a lot of eyeliner when i have individual lashes on so i was trying to put it in between so that um, it doesn't show when i put the falses on and i also did an, an under black eye i just couldn't show you guys i don't know why i forgot i just forgot to look at the camera So the lady who did my lashes introduced me to this mascara. I think it's oil-free. I didn't do much research on it, but I went and bought it at Discam. I love this mascara. I'm so, so in love. It's Maybelline. It's so good. Like, I've been trying it on my clients as well, and I loved it. It's not too... Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like all those other Maybelline mascaras. It's just different. If you want to try it, I will do a review on it on my next video. If I don't have lashes on, just to show you. Can you see the difference? Like, I was also shocked. I was like, mm, maybe I don't need falses, but I already put glue on them. So I was like, okay, let me just put them on. And these lashes are just some cheap China mall lashes. And I showed you two ways to put it. The first eye, I used a tweezer. And then the second one, I used um, I used my, my nails. My nails are so long, so it's easier to put them on as well. And it was like, it was like a five second thing. I just pressed them together so that they can be like one thing. So moving on, I feel like the foundation that I used was a bit, um, it has like a grey undertone. So I wanted to warm my face a bit. I'm going to use my NW45, um, is it a Studio Fix powder? I don't know, but I hardly use it when I'm putting makeup on. But I felt like my, my face became white. <laughs> I just wanted to bring some warmth in it. You won't see much of a difference on camera, but I could see it from the mirror that um, it's actually cooled. Or toned down a bit instead of being white and I'm going to bake my nose again because I felt like the powder didn't do the job <laughs> and I wanted my nose to be nice so forgive me I know I look funny don't make fun of me <laughs> just laugh with me and I want to take my wet and wild I think it's precious pearls I'll leave it in the description box to highlight my what do you call this my brow line what do you call it i forgot yeah that <laughs> i'm just going to highlight that part and i forgot to show you again when i highlighted my face i also used it for highlighting um, my cheekbones and everything later on in the video so i will leave it in the description box below So I'm going to fix my face with the MAC Fix Plus Spray. I lost footage of how I applied my blush and I'm so sorry about that. Um, yeah, and I was feeling myself. I forgot to say that. <laughs> I was feeling myself after seeing how the eye turned out and the lashes, everything was blending in together. Let's move on to the lips and I'm going to use the Essence. Can you forgive my birds? I'm going to use the Essence Pencil. I use it on almost every video and it's the um, chocolate i think it's the chocolate pencil it lines very well and it's moisturizing it doesn't dry up my lips and for the lipstick i decided to go with um, nyx i think it's lippy 05 yes the two are amazing this is the lip stick lingerie liquid lipstick i love it it's very moisturizing and it lasts long i can wait up to 12 hours 
and yeah i was really feeling myself guys tell me how you what what do you think about this look actually because i loved it i actually felt like okay maybe i shouldn't wear hair at all but i wanted to be extra and this is the highlighter it's a very affordable highlighter from clicks to scam i think you can find it almost everywhere where you where there's um this drugstore makeup so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.